When I was thinking of a sleepover, I thought of like facials and petties and very spa-like. I'm gonna give you a yogurt mask later. Oh my, why do you have a yeah, mouth Yeah, it's the type of yogurt speak. though that you have to shake it up first. You have to shake it oh up. Oh my God. But you can eat it, so it's also, it's also delicious. So Roger and I never wanna miss one moment of our children's lives, but they are getting older. And we want to obviously always have them around. So we're thinking about starting slumber parties, but we can be the cool parents and the kids can come over here and we will have the cool fun activities for if, the kids to do. What if other parents think we're creepy though? Well then them. You don't gotta bring your kids over here. Bye. Today. We're, we're gonna make some cool stuff. So today, our friend Amy is coming over. She's a longtime friend of ours. Actually, I've known her longer than you have. She's uh, bringing her two kids, Ava and Ryan, with her, and they're gonna stay over and have a sleepover tonight. And they're some of Milani's best friends, really. Oh yeah. So we're gonna do some quick treats, some pillow forts, some scary stories, to see what it's like to have a slumber party here because they're never allowed out of our sight in a non-helicopter parent way. I found sprinkles. Yay! Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! So we're gonna make money buddies. My cousin April always made them every year for the holidays. I love them. I never made them before. They're junk food. I feel like they're kind of cool to eat at a sleepover. Milani, can I have half of that? We gotta put it in here. So where'd you put it in here? Milani is such a junk food junkie. I haven't even got a chance to melt it yet, and she's already Chowing down on a chocolate bar. I don't even. There's no under, small chocolate no. bar. I mean, it's bigger. It's as big as her head. So. Yeah, and I don't understand why we even do that because we know the consequence. We're idiots. We're bad yeah. parents. That's. A, I mean, we just suck as parents. Is basically the gist of it. Can I have a piece to put in here so we Milani, can use it? Milani, put it in there. No. Can I have some? No. Share the wealth, kid. Milani, you're. What time are you gonna go to bed tonight? 2 a.m. So when I was thinking of sleepovers, I was thinking of like masks and different variations and like maybe like spas. Instead of like an avocado mask and a honey mask and a yogurt mask, we're gonna mix all three of them together. We're gonna make a banana, yogurt, honey, avocado mask and you can eat it. Milani, if, if Ava and Ryan put some stuff on their face, would you do the same? Yeah. Okay, cool. Do more. <gasps> do her whole face. Whoa! Get her forehead. Ava, do you want No, what? <laughs> You gotta have it on yours too, Ryan. Ryan and Ava are applying their face masks to each other. They started off all nicey nice, and then Ava started smearing it on Ryan's face. Ryan started smearing it back, and Ryan got it on his eye. Yeah. Not in his eye, though. It's Milani for the face, out. not for the eye. What are you looking for? Milani's nicely, missing out. Nicely. By the time Milani gets back over here, the bowl will be empty. I don't know why I thought of it. For some reason, I thought that Milani would love a face mask because I do it. But then the other part of me realizes that she hates getting her face clean. And when Milani's not into something, you don't try to talk her into it. So she's into flashlights, right? Mom now. suggests that I get a facial. Of yeah, course, Mom doesn't volunteer herself. She volunteers Dad. So I have makeup so on. Dad's a good sport. So Dad sits down and gets a facial. wasn't bad. wasn't bad at all. Ava and Ryan are having so much fun. First facial in this house ever. It was on me. <laughs> Look at what they're doing to daddy, it's so silly. Hey, daddy, no. Hey. I knew that was coming. No, daddy. Hey, Milani, he needs a facial. Milani, you uh, again, a Jenny, daddy. again, I'm trying very daddy. diligently over Come here. here. Do you want Uppy? Be a responsible. Look, do you want Uppy? Look. Milani, it feels good. Oh, thank <laughs> you. You got honey in my hair, awesome. Milani. Milani, it feels good. I had my eyes shut and I immediately knew when my daughter jumped in. <laughs> thank you. So finally, everyone is cleaned up. We're gonna head to the living room so we can build, actually, so you and Ryan can build a fort. I can relax and we can prep for ghost stories. Well, this is looking good. I don't know what I'm looking at. You're not looking at anything yet, He's relax. Gonna... So I'm, my, my uh, fort's looking real my concept good. here is, because there's a lot of us, 
max, oh, so maximum room. I'm trying to make maximum room inside of this thing and inside this bomb shelter for us so we can all survive for weeks on end. But the problem is, the more I stretch everything apart, the ottoman and the pillows and everything, the weight of the blanket is pulling it in. Oh, is so that I, what's I happening? To, I, yeah. That, I that's, to, that's, that's, okay. I had to tighten everything up a little bit, which you should look into. I had to move things a little closer. No, I had to remove, bigger. I had to remove. Even if you're average size, it would be so much better. Whoa! He did it! Oh no, the oh, little Ryan, destroyer is here. Ryan's gotta stay there. The little destroyer. No, no, you don't need to stay there. So I'm trying to keep everything spaced out, everything apart, and it's kind of like Bubby's teeth. It's not really working out. <laughs> So I had to move everything Don't a little closer. Don't you dare talk about our son's cute teeth. I'm sure he'll grow into them. I had to move everything a little closer, knock down a couple of the pillows, because the weight of the, the blanket, it's a heavy blanket, was pulling everything in and kind of caving in my, sure. uh, my fort. But in the end, it looked pretty damn good. It was just a little tighter than I wanted it to be. So Jenny and I debated this before having children. Like, I think we were pregnant with Milani. And somehow, the, you know, you talk about everything under the sun, the subject of sleepovers came up. And I was like, absolutely. I want my kids to experience childhood and sleepover because that's how I grew up. We were talking about it, and I said, I, I don't want to be that because it, my, my, the, my rationale was if every parent was like that, no kid would ever sleep over everybody's house. Yeah. Would never be a sleepover if every parent thought like that. And then I had kids. What? The, the prop rock. I don't know if the world has changed or, you know, just just being a parent, my view has changed. Um, but the I can, internet. or maybe I just had bad parents. I don't know. But um, I'm, we're not going to do that. I, I'll be the dick parent now. I'll be like, yo, our house is more fun than Tommy's. Come over. Whatever it takes for him not to be the weirdo. Milani, Daddy's gonna make up a scary story. All right, let's listen to this, guys. Dad, wait, Daddy built a fort and has to tell the scary yes, story. Yes, you're hosting. Uh, where'd you get those? Nowhere. Ah, all right. Listen to this scary story, guys. Once okay. upon a time, a mummy and a daddy built a house in a foreign land called Maine. No, it's scary. Yeah, well, it's getting there. Be patient. She loves scary. And a mummy and a daddy drove up there in the middle of the night with two little wee children. Not going to name any names. Nani, stop yelling. Your brother's trying to sleep. We're told not to. And we got there. We drove 10 hours through the night. And then mommy and daddy got to that house exhausted. Ready to go to sleep. Absolutely exhausted. After daddy had worked all day, too. And we got there. And then we opened up the door. And those little children were wide awake. <laughs> and mommy's and daddy's nightmare began. Ooh, 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 ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Do you remember that? Is that, that? scary? We didn't know it's in there. It's no messes. That's a damn good fort right there. That's a damn good fort. Go see what's in there. It's scary beast. Scary? Scary beast? Yeah. Wanna go look? Go look, hurry up, go look again. No. Hurry up, hurry up. I saw I it. I think it's a bubby. Ah! What's the beast name? Grace. Oh, yeah, he's scary, yeah. Bobby. Yeah, Bobby. Oh, it's a scary Bobby. Let's get him. Let's beat him up. Oh. Oh. Club that Bobby a couple times. We have to save the children. Let's get him. Oh. Pretend you're sleeping. Pretend. Quick, ready? Everybody. We're all going Everybody. to sleep. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Good night, Milani. It's exhausting. Sometimes I fall asleep. Well, many times a week I fall asleep before her. Ryan's They're so never gonna go to sleep, are they? Mm -hmm. Is this what you have to get used to? Just them like when constant? they're little like that, yeah. It's like people boom. Over. Shh. So I'm trying to get Milani down right now. All her friends are ready to go to sleep. Amy's already sleeping. She won't even fake sleeping. No, she won't even like lay down. She's like f that, and that's how I can tell she's tired because she doesn't want to put herself in that position. She's our our biggest battle every night is getting that kid to sleep. Yeah, she does not want to sleep. No, 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 no! Ryan has the best laugh. Milani, you don't have to go to sleep. Just pretend. No, no. Hurry, hurry up because Amy just farted. No, no, no. No, no. One minute, one 
Oh, come yeah. out, guys. Yeah. Oh, come yeah. out. Yeah. He's pretending. <laughs> Look at Mama's gonna pretend, ready? One, two, three. No, stop it! Can Milani pretend? No! Okay, so I'm not excited for Milani to get older because I don't want time to just like pass. But when Milani does get older, I cannot wait to have her girlfriends over so I can be that cool mom that has all the kids over and does like a super fun sleepover. Sure. So I think our slumber party was a ton of fun and it achieved our goal of a mock sleepover. Mm -hmm. And now we are ready to conquer the sleepover world. Done. Booyah. Do you guys let your kids go to sleepovers or do you have sleepovers at your house? Tell us in the comments section below and don't forget to subscribe to Awestruck to watch more videos of us getting domestic.